I think this outfit's kind of cute. But then I look at the boots and I'm like, why are they there? Dude, why is she wearing a straw hat? I think this is sick. Oh my God. Chat. Is Ayaka a straw hat? Oh goodness. Genshin Impact Skin Tearless Tear Maker. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Um. All right, that's my tier list. We're done. Actually. Kaya's skin is here because it's balls. All right. Deluxe skin is here because it is objectively the best skin. Not because Deluxe skin has the character model that looks the best out of any character, but because the upgrade from Deluxe base model to Deluxe skin is so sizable and massive because his actual base skin is so dog shit. OG Deluke is dripped out. He, OG Deluke is dripped out exactly like my fucking grandma. Like... Bro looks like he's having a middle-age crisis. A midlife crisis. Have you seen his coat? It's like Napoleon... N Napoleon meets... Your aunt who just refuses to accept that she's not 23 anymore. <laughs> That's his coat. It's Napoleon instead of Napoleon. It's like Napoleon. Get it? Napoleon. Why are all women so low? They're not. Some women are so low. Why are almost all women so low? Because they, the only skin they released for men are the best skin of them all and the skin for my favorite character, which I'm not going to put in D, even if it probably should be like at best in C because it's not that good of a skin. But I don't make the rules. I do make the rules, but I can say I don't make the rules. Anyways, this is the objective. When you say some of the skins are at least somewhat nice looking, I mean, eh, I don't think there's anything appealing about them. Like, I could do something appealing with Klee's skin, because it's like, she's dressed up as a witch. Like, it's it's like Halloween Klee, you know? I can see something appealing about Lisa, because she's basically dressed in clothing from a different region which ties into her lore. And Nick made a good point about the duck. But there's nothing about any of these skin that I'm particularly like, oh wow, this is cool. What can I say? <laughs> Why did they give us cottage core Ayak? <laughs> that is so true. Hello. Hey, Lisa. So this is what the normal Lisa looks like. Also, this skin made me realize Lisa's eyes aren't purple. I thought they were. Okay. I like it. Bro, I had never it. looked at Lisa's eyes before. I fuck with it. The little beret? Bro, yeah, that would be it. such a good Genshin trivia question. What color are Lisa's eyes? <laughs> All right, let's rank how good the character is. Not how strong they are, how good the characters are. So obviously... Usopp goes an S. He is the best character in the crew. And it's not even close. Uh, and I am not going to put anyone else in S because they don't deserve to be alongside him. The worst character... is a tie... between Sanji and Frankie. And you still have a special place in my heart. 26 years. You know what? No. Frankie's in C. Sanji's the worst character. Frankie just doesn't have a personality. But 
Sanji's personality is a downside. If Sanji wasn't a pervert, would he be higher? Yes. If his main character flaw wasn't there, he'd be higher. The thing is, like, giving characters character flaws is fine, but the show relies on his character flaw as a crutch for its comedy, and that's not good. Because, like, it's just boring. Yeah, like, Frankie pre-time skip is A, post-time skip is C. Yeah, yeah, Sanji is like Minata in, in My Hero. It's like, no. Anyways, I'm gonna put Jinbei in B because B for boring. <laughs> B for b doesn't do anything. B for Bahu. And B for Brook. No, you know what? Brook goes in D with Sanji. Uh, Luffy is gonna go in A. He's a likable idiot. That's cool and all. Although... I don't like what Oda did with the recent reveal about his devil fruit. If you're, if you're anime only and you don't want spoilers, mute the stream for a little bit. I don't like the idea of Luffy as a chosen one type character. I feel like it takes away a lot from the message, the messaging that One Piece had up until that reveal. And I really fucking hope that Luffy's blood relation with Dragon isn't used as a way to like, redirect the story into a family is important direction. Because par another part of what makes One Piece so good to me is how it focuses more on found family than blood, re like blood relations. But Oda did kind of ruin the... Yeah, like, it, o Oda kind of ruined one of the main message... One of the main messages of the series recently for me. So, I don't know if I trust him not to do the same thing with the found family angle. We're hoping, but yeah. What's up with the fruit? It's basically a, a five-star fruit. The story treated it as a, as a three... You know what? No, it's actually a six-star fruit. The story treated it as, as a three-star fruit, and then... It turns out it was actually a six-star fruit, and it's broken as fuck, and he's unbeatable. Anyways, moving on. Nami goes in B for boring. Vivi goes in B for boring. Robin goes in B for boring. Both Nami and Robin had very interesting arcs as their introduction, but then they stopped being interesting afterwards. You could remove Robin, Vivi, and Robin. Well, I guess Vivi we don't even fucking talk about, but... You could remove... Honestly, every character in the crew, except Usopp, Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro, and you'd be able to tell the exact same story. They feel so irrelevant. Nami 2 for navigation? Just make them find a fucking navigation machine or whatever. Like, I'm not talking about what they're doing, like, their role on the pirate ship. I'm talking about their role for the story. Right? But yeah, you'd still need a doctor, you'd still need a navigator, but, like, you could replace them with NPCs and it wouldn't really change the story, is the point. Zoro was fucking boring, man. Like, I'm sorry, but his story is just not compelling. Alright, he goes in B as well. He goes in B as well. B for boring. He is more important to the story, but like... The fuck is bro's place in the story? Like... Ooh, I wanna... I wanna use sword better. I sword better want. Slash, slash. I... <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, like his loyalty is is interesting, but it feels like it's not. It feels like the last time his loyalty to to Luffy was relevant was when he took on Luffy's like pain from Kuma, and it hasn't really been relevant since. And that was a long ass fucking time ago. It was a really good moment for him, but I feel like he hasn't had a good moment since. They'll put Zoro in the list. He got lost. True. <laughs> Chopper would be in you C. You still have a special C for Chopper. If we're if we're talking about characters at their peak, which is generally in the first arc where they're introduced, I would probably put both Robin and Nami in A, and everything else. Ah. Frankie would be an A. Maybe even an S. Like, Frankie in his intro arc was a really compelling character. But he fell off so hard. Sanji back- no, Sanji doesn't- it, it doesn't matter. Sanji can't leave the pervert tier until he stops being a pervert. And he was a pervert from the beginning, so... Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Sanji's intro was boring as fuck. Yeah, but Sanji's peak was not during his intro. Sanji's peak was during Whole Cake. But also Whole Cake was the worst arc in the series, so... You know. And for just want to clarify, I'm talking about the anime. I'm sure Whole Cake was pretty good in the manga because the plot is actually kind of in interesting. But the pacing in the anime was so bad that I actually quit watching. And ever since Whole Cake, I've been keeping up with the story by watching YouTubers review the latest chapter instead of actually watching or reading the sh reading. <clears throat> the Whole Cake is what is what prevents me from getting back in. One Piece pacing is just bad in general. Yes, but Whole Cake is like another whole fucking level. Both Whole Cake, Whole Cake and Dress Rosa adapted like 0.4 of a chapter per episode, it's horrible. I didn't notice it as much with Dress Rosa because I wasn't keeping up with it every week, right? When I watched Dress Rosa, Dress Rosa was already all out. When I watched Whole Cake, I was watching it every week, the new episode. And holy fuck is it so much worse. When you have bad pacing on something you're keeping up with, like, in real time. 